Hello. Welcome to the Quinn Show. It's been a while, but I'm here, and I think I'm going to stay for a while at least. Um, since the last time I made a like series video, uh, which was almost a year ago, Minecraft was officially released, and it's a it's a full release game. You see at the bottom left down here it says Minecraft 1.0.0. It's uh, the final release of the game, so it's it's a completed game. It's done, but uh, I know Notch and the the guys are gonna still do updates on it and stuff, and I'm sure there's still some bugs that need to be worked out. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a lot of worlds already, but I'm gonna make a new one, and I'm gonna call this one. The Quinn Show. Go survival structures on world type normal. I'm not going to do a seed. Seeds where you uh, put in a code and it's part of the random generation. There's a hardcore creative and survival. Hardcore is hardest difficulty, and then if you die, your world gets deleted. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do survival. Go ahead and create. And then it's going to randomly generate this world from scratch. And I don't know what it's going to be like. And I hope it's a good one because I'm going to play in it no matter what. And it'll probably lag here for a little bit while it's generating the first part of the world. So, for those of you that didn't watch or maybe forgot about, I did a two month long series called the Dome Project where I built a fairly large dome underwater, a biodome that had farm animals in it. In it. And uh, I did that about a year ago. I started on Halloween of 2010 and I finished like right around Christmas of 2010. So, But now we're playing it's November 20th when I'm recording right now. Um, I plan to do like a video a week or so. I don't I don't want to get in over my head. So looks like we started off in the forest. Nothing wrong with that. What I love about Minecraft is all the different biomes. The different um different types of uh <laughs> land scenery. The different environments because you can be you know in a fairly large it looks like this one's a fairly large forest area and then um, you know you travel off in the distance you could be in a desert over there there's some sand looks like a beach Let's see what my frame rates looking like Ooh. okay Looks like there's a cave over there, some chickens. Um, you see at the bottom of my screen there's um, some slots, uh, the squares, when I'm cycling through. Those are where my uh, items or blocks would go if I want to use those. Uh, the bar directly above it, um, the bar right down there, that's the experience bar. Um, you get experience, let's go and kill a chicken. To run away now. Well, there we go. I got some experience for that. Um, above the experience bar on the left side, you have hearts. That's your health. Um, that's what keeps you alive. If that goes down to the very end, that's when you die. They move pretty fast whenever they get scared. And then on the right side, above the experience bar, you have uh, hunger. Hunger regenerates or deplenishes your health, depending on where it's at. 
mine is full right now, so if I were to take some damage, let's see if I can jump off of something here. Take some damage. Since my hunger bar is full, it will start replenishing health, as you see, just did. And now my health's back full. So, um, compared to the original version of how health worked in Minecraft, uh, it's a little bit more complex. I like it better, personally. Um, so you don't have to, you don't have to uh, constantly eat as much during like a fight or something like that. There we go. So now I have a little one above my XP thing. I don't entirely know how the XP works, but I just I knew I know that it has something to do with enchanting. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. First thing you need to do in Minecraft is. You have a full day, the day and night cycle, you have a full day to gather anything that you can to help survive whenever it becomes nighttime. And nighttime is bad because that's when the scary monsters come out. Scary monsters aren't fun. Actually, they can't be fun. But you have to be able to defend yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some wood. Wood's one of the resources you always, always need wood. And before you have any tools, the only thing you can do in Minecraft is punch, which is what I'm doing right here. Punching wood. There we go. Let me get that last one. There we go. And then whenever you destroy a tree, it starts to disappear. Okay, so I've got 11 wood now. If we pull up your inventory screen. Oh, there's a wolf over there. <laughs> I don't have any bones. Okay, so you take wood, put it in your crafting screen, and there you can make some planks. I'm going to go ahead and make all the planks that I can make. I've got 44. And I'd like to have a bigger crafting grid because 2x2 two two is good, but you can make more things with a crafting table. So I'm going to go out here somewhere where I want to throw it down. There's my crafting table. I put it on the ground. Right click on it and you've got a bigger crafting grid. Now, um, first things I need are going to be some tools. Uh, to make the handles for tools, you need sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and make wooden hatchet. And I'll go and make a wooden wooden pick to pickaxe, that's what they call it. If I had some bones I could give it to the wolf and it would fall in love with me, but I don't have any bones yet. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll find another wolf somewhere down the line. So now I'm just gathering stone, actually cobblestone. I'm just mining cobblestone right now. Um, cobblestone's uh, good for making tools. There's a lot of cobblestone. The tools are a lot more durable than wood. Wooden tools are the weakest. They degrade pretty fast. I think actually gold might degrade faster. I'm not sure. Keep going here. One thing that's nice about Minecraft is that if you want to know how much time you have left, you can just walk outside and look at the sun. You can see it's setting, so it's going down. So we've got a little bit less than half the day left. Um, I want to see if I can find some coal. Some uh, coal to make. Make some torches. That would be good. So I have some light uh, when it turns to nighttime. I'm not seeing any yet some cows. A lot of cows. <laughs> okay. really like this forest area. I don't feel like the trees are real close together or anything like that. That's something that I kind of didn't like initially. But I think they fixed it. Okay, I'm gonna find some coal up here. That would be nice. And I don't see any. But I do see an ocean. And there's a squid out there. Doesn't look like I'll be finding any coal over here. 
So I better make my way back. Hmm. It's a wolf over there. And there are wolves everywhere. A lot more common than I expected them to be. Hmm. From this tree I cut down earlier, uh, I dropped some saplings. You can use saplings to plant more trees. Go over here, lay down a sapling. That'll grow over a few days. And there's some coal right there. So I need to get up there. Break some of this dirt so I can lay it down and climb up there. Okay. Let's get it. Looks like there's only one block right there. Yeah. Usually coal is in large veins, but this one was alone. That happens occasionally. Usually if it's exposed, uh, like this one was on the outside of a wall, that's that's when there'll be very few of them, but usually they're in large veins of maybe up to 20 or so. There's some over there. Pick up some eggs. And coal is really good because it's um, it's used for uh, making torches, which give you light, but also uh, you can use it as a fuel uh, to uh, cook things in a furnace or to smelt, uh, like if you find some iron or anything like that. The sun's going down, but I see a whole lot of coal over here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it real quick. And really, this wooden pickaxe is not that great. It's this, it's fairly slow, and it's already less than half the durability. If you see that orange bar underneath of the the pickaxe and the icons, I'm just going to use it up just to get rid of it, and then I'll start using cobblestone tools. Probably, I want to go and grab all this coal if I can, so I can start fleshing out that area that I was in. sun's going down. I've got all that and I'm gonna go for it. There's a creeper. Gotta watch out for those. Two creepers. Oh god. Oh god. And there's a skeleton. Great. There we go. Okay. So I'm inside here now. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, I've got enough wooden planks. Um, I left my crafting table outside, but I'll go ahead and make another. So, and we need some light. I can't see a thing in here. So we'll go ahead and make some torches. Let's so light this place up and see what it looks like. Okay, well, it's pretty cramped right now, but I was kind of rushed a little bit, so. I'm go ahead and flush this out a little bit more. Man, these wooden pickaxes are very slow. And so I don't know... Um, oh, they're on my pick. Okay. Go and throw this down. I'll make a uh, cobblestone pickaxe. Much faster. So while it's nighttime, mobs come out, there are skeletons that shoot arrows, there's zombies that walk slow and make weird noises, creepers, which are the most terrifying things ever if uh, you get caught off guard by one. Creepers are the green things that were chasing me, they, uh, they hiss and then uh, they'll sneak up on you and if they get too close they explode and they mess up the world around you and they do a lot of damage. 
Creepers are the iconic Minecraft mob. And there's also spiders. Spiders are a... Uh, I think they're aggressive at night time. During the daytime they're not, but at night time they are aggressive. And they can climb things, that's what's really scary about them. So if you're trying to climb up a hill to get away from them, they can just climb up it with you. So as you see now, my hunger bar is a little bit low. And my health is not regenerating because it's under 2. My hunger bar is under 2 right now, so it's not regenerating. But I do have some raw meat, and since I got some raw meat, I can eat this. And I guess it was poisoned or something. I don't know what that means, honestly. Maybe because it was raw, I shouldn't have eaten it. Got a timer right there. What does that mean? I guess I'll find out in three seconds. Ah, I see. Okay, so whenever you eat raw raw meat, that makes sense. When you eat raw food, it replenishes your hunger temporarily, but then it goes back down. So I shouldn't be eating raw food, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself a furnace. Make a furnace with this combination and a crafting table. You've got a furnace. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move this because those cobblestone blocks I placed right here are going to be my doorway. So I'm going to go ahead and put these... Uh, over here, I'll put the furnace right there. Got my crafting table, I'll put it right here. And then a furnace runs on coal. Put a coal in. And you see it converted in into flames. And as the arrow fills up, it'll move a piece of that chicken over to this area, and it'll be cooked. And I will eat it. And then you don't have to keep the screen up, it'll keep cooking, so... The two others are being cooked while I'm eating this chicken right here. And there we go. And there we've got another one, and then this one's also done. Okay. So I'm going to be venturous real quick and see. It's still my time. So I'm going to put that back up. Minecraft is a purchasable game. You have to buy it online. I think it runs for about 28 US dollars or 20 euros. I think that's about the conversion. I need to double check on that. It uh, was a very good buy for me. I recommend it to anyone, especially anyone that enjoys sandbox games. Minecraft is a very fun sandbox game. That's uh, one of the, the really cool things about Minecraft is that it's a sandbox game, as um, which means that you don't have to do anything in particular. Um, you can walk around, you can fight stuff, you can gather resources and build things, you can farm, you can go uh, exploring, or uh, you can even change game modes. Uh, I'm in survival right now, but you can go into creative mode and just have unlimited everything, all the blocks, and you can just build. And uh, it's got multiplayer. Multiplayer is very good for this game. It's real fun. You can play with other people. A lot of really cool things happen in Minecraft. So I don't know entirely uh, what I'm going to be doing in this series. <laughs> um, last series, oh, there went my pick. Last series, I 
uh, built a dome. This one, I don't think I'm going to intentionally have a project in mind. I do have something that I want to build in mind, and it's going to take a long time. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get started on that, but I just kind of want it to be a let's play. Uh, just uh, me showing whoever wants to watch what Minecraft is, what I'm doing, and uh, it'll just be a fun thing. So, um, not sure what I'm going to be doing for these first two videos. I'll probably just be gathering resources and venturing out in my map and seeing what all I have to work with. So. Okay, so now I've got, I don't know what this area is yet, but this will be my bedroom. Let's see if it's turning daytime yet. Oh, that's a spider. Whoa. Ah! That's a creeper. But it's turning daytime. I'm gonna run in here and make myself a sword. Which is good, because that's all I have enough to make. Okay, stone sword. Let's do this. I see a creeper out here. I'm gonna go after it. Dang it! Hmm. Let me patch this up. I don't want the grass to be all holy over here. There we go. That'll just be a hole for now. There's more stuff over here. I'm gonna go and kill these chickens. One hit kill. Ha! <laughs> Reminds me of a uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. Ah! <laughs> level two. I don't know what the level cap is. But I'm going to go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer. Okay, wooden door. Wooden door you make with six wooden planks. There's your door. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a torch out here. So let's see. And for the time being, that's my home. I've got two bones. I wonder if I can get myself a wolf. We'll find out. Hey! Sweet. I have a doggy. Come. Your name is Punk. Good boy. Here, Punk, fight this chicken. 
Yeah! Best pet ever. What's that cow? You wanna mess with me? Mess with punk. Get him, boy. Sneak attack! Yeah! Good boy. Sweet. There you go. Oh, crap, crap! Ah, no. Here. How do I give you food? What do you eat? You don't... I, I didn't mean to punch you. Well, you can sit and... St okay, sorry. I don't hit dogs. On purpose. Don't call me Michael Vick. Okay, well... We survived... Hi. We survived the day. Well, uh, most importantly, we survived a night. And the day is almost half over, and all I've done is found a dog. But that's pretty good, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this real quick, because I don't want it to just sit out there. Uh, I'll go over here and fill in that patch real quick. What do you want, dog? Plant this other sapling. Happy Earth Day. Excuse me. Come on, punk. Wait, does he come through doors? Punk? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if I make him a doggy door if he can come in. Uh in here. Oh, okay. That works. Can you come out this way? Hey, there we go, doggy door. Okay. I'm gonna cover this up. Okay. C-14 did a good job on these sounds. Come here! Not, yet, not those. Okay, punk, you know what? This will be your area over here. You stay. Good boy. Okay. So I'm gonna make myself a fancy little sign thingy. Okay, there we go. Well, I tell you what, thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of The Quinn Show, and I will see you next time. And on that note, thanks for watching. Bye.